All right, bull. That's a new high score. You seem to know a lot. Everything I in the center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I was about to say everything I know about darts I learned from Persona 5 and Final Fantasy 7. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point? Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Let's rank up these baton passes, brother. You better not tank us. Psh, look who's talking. I'm really going to show off my dart skills now. Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete. Hell yeah, triple 20. Whoa, he hit such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. We're almost down to zero points. Let's really focus for this last round. Zero points right on the dot. Oh, ain't we badass? It was mostly me, but sure. That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. I guess he did get a triple 20. That's pretty good. Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane. But it makes you want to do your best for your partner. Baton pass rank two, damage up, HP recover, let's go! Dude, Royal is so good. Like, Persona 5, like the original game, is also great. But they just made it so much better with Royal, it's insane. I feel like I understand something better after pairing up with Ryuji. Oh, my baton pass went up too, that's right, I forgot the Jokers would also level up. The higher your baton pass rank, the more powerful the effects will be when performing a baton pass. Rank 1 increases damage dealt. Rank 2, heal HP after a baton pass. Love it, and more damage dealt. Rank 3, heal even more HP and recover SP, which is phenomenal. You can verify a party member's baton pass rank on the stat screen. <laughs> Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Even if it is just a game, it can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. That's a good way to look at it, kitty cat. <laughs> well, I do always have the phantom thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Uh, oh, let's invite everybody next time. Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck. Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Ooh, what's that? Oh, yeah, they have pool here, too. Billiards. Hmm. This game could be useful, too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late, though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget, we got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Later, dude. You also get points towards your confidence when you hang out at darts, right? I think you do, and I'm pretty sure On isn't ready for a rank up, so ranking up her baton pass would work great.
If I remember correctly, you transfer lines at Shibuya, right? I heard customers say it's gotten pretty dangerous over there. Don't let yourself be a target, okay? Mm. Wow, it's really gotten that unsafe, huh? That said, you still want to check out Kichi Joji at night, don't you? Don't worry, Akira. Worst comes to worst, I've got your back. <laughs> You're not going to be of any use whatsoever. Besides, there's a certain delicious smell on that street that bears investigating. <laughs> Picked up some interesting info you might want to hear. Apparently, there's this old man who's been causing problems in Kichijoji. If you make one wrong move or say the wrong thing, he flies into a rage and it turns into a fight. Even if you don't hit him, he lies and says you did and then sues for damages. So he's like a con artist. Or like a conflict artist. What about the cops? Well, they tried to give him a warning, but when he pretends to be senile, he gets away with everything. We can't just let him go unchecked, right? Only problem is, knowing that he's an old troublemaker isn't enough to get us a name. But I did hear that he hangs out in Kichijoji's Harmony Alley a lot. Mm. This old man sure does sound like a problem. And if we don't know his name, we can't make him have a change of heart. Okay, it sounds like our next stop is Kichijoji. Let's go check out this Harmony Alley. An elderly's meaning of life. So we have three... Oh, we're gonna go hang out with Broshita. Let's get it. I'll be giving a speech at the station square today as usual. Do you think you can come by? Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. How are we looking on requests right now, by the way? We do have three at the moment. I just need to get the names for them. Good. I would like- I'd like at least five requests before we go into Mementos next. But, I mean, if we can get even more than that, that'd be ideal. Four- I would be okay with four, too, but I'd, I'd like to get, like, five. Let's go hang out with Broshita. I need these rank ups. I'll be right there. Glad to hear that. I'll be waiting. Need to be able to get a lot of money from doing, uh, whatchamacallit, Everyone. doing the third palace. Many of you suffer greatly from this distorted world of disparity. Please know that you can direct your criticism and outrage at me. I, Torinosuke Yoshida, will someday find a way to address your concerns in Nagatacho. Good evening. Ah, uh, Kurusukun, how's your schoolwork? I'm giving a speech again today. Do you think you can lend me a hand with it? Absolutely. friggin lootly I like how it says that because I have Suzaku, I can get closer to Yoshida, even though you don't need to. I will help out Yoshida. I love right Broshida. Then let's get to it. Can you please hold the placard? When me, RTK, and Michael and Sly did our, uh, we ranked all the confidants in the game, I would have to go back and double check. That list might have changed slightly by now, but I'm pretty sure it would be very similar. I'm pretty sure Broshida was in my top five. I want to say he was, like, my fourth or, fa or fifth favorite confidant in the game. Everyone. Passing on the societal ills we have created to the next generation is not right. It will take time to solve this problem. However, we must start by making small changes. You. I hope you gleaned something useful from today's speech. Regardless of the audience's size, you must convey your thoughts as if you're talking one-on-one. -on -one. By the way, I forgot to ask you last time we spoke. Why do you want to become a politician? I want to change the world, man. Hmm? Ambitious indeed, if a little ambiguous. Well, I'm sure you'll iron out the details as you go along. May I ask you one more question? What kind of politician do you want to be? One with conviction. Because they basically don't exist. <laughs> yes, don't ever forget that. Although what's important is what lies within. You're right. Allow me to give you some advice. If you aspire to get into politics, you must possess a central philosophy. What is it that you want to accomplish? That is the foundation of a great speech. You'd do well to remember that. That was helpful, thank you. I'm glad. By the way, my philosophy is... Very well. Never give up until your voice is heard. To get your message across, be tenacious in conveying your thoughts to the audience. Have a firm point of view and communicate it clearly. That's the first rule of negotiating. <laughs> you have me reliving the fighting spirit I had when I first became a politician. Give me that rank up. Rank two. Occasionally ask for more money or items during negotiations. This already means we get a lot more money, but I think you get, like, a super boost to it at, like, rank five or six, maybe? I don't remember. I really want... I'm hoping we can get Broshita to rank five, which relies on having three Sundays, before getting in the third palace. Because the third palace, I'm pretty sure, has no roadblocks. It's all the way through. If we can get Broshita to rank five by then, then I think we'll be pretty good. But, I mean, already just getting diplomacy is worth a lot. All right. The fortune teller is coming up, so we're gonna need a lot of money. Get the heck out of here, no good Torah. No good Torah. They're right. I am no good. Incorrect. 
My apologies, we're done for today. Oh yeah, you also get charm from Broshida, I forgot, let's go. I shall ask you again another Thank time. you for all your hard work, I'll see you next time. See you later, Broshida. Hey, I wanted to thank you for today. I'm sorry you had to see me acting like such a coward right after I gave you that self-important lecture too. But I'm quite a stubborn individual myself. I hope today's incident was at least a good example of what not to do. But what do you think? Did you make anything or take anything useful from it? It was helpful. That's a relief. I have to say it was almost nostalgic for me. It reminded me of my early days. I hope our talks from now on will keep giving you the direction you need. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. See you next Sunday, brother, unless a story event happens next Sunday. Hey, look at that boost. 16.9%, nice. Did you see the news? About the calling card from the Phantom Thieves, right? The way it was written seemed pretty legit. Have they really stolen people's hearts? I can't believe the Phantom Thieves actually exist. <sighs> so gross and humid. Now for today's train news, today's headlines are Hot Spots of Tokyo, Penguin Sniper is open for business in Kichijoji. What's Penguin Sniper, you ask? A zoo? A pet shop? No, it's a trendy lounge for darts and billiards. Whether alone or in a group, how you play is up to you. Oh, oh it's that one lounge. Next time we go, I'm gonna play darts too. Still, there sure are a lot of shops in Kichijoji. We should take our time and look around when we get the chance. It was poppin'. What's bonkin'? The response to Monorami's press conference was huge. Everyone's talking about the call-in card. Girls are checking me out today. Maybe they can't help but sense my overflowing Phantom Thief charisma. Somehow I doubt that. Am I finally starting to be popular with all the fly? You had to say fly, honeys! Man, Ryuji, if you ever do get a girlfriend, I, uh, I wish her the best. She's She's got a lot of work out of her. Something strange. For real? Of course there is! My uniform, man! My uniform! We're supposed to switch to summer uniforms today! I knew people were looking at me! God dang it! I gotta go home and change, so you go on ahead. Oh, Ryuji. <laughs> Dude, you're so pale! Short sleeves are so not for you. Shut up. Jeez. Anyway, did you catch the news yesterday? Watching that famous artist cry his eyes out over all the artwork he's stolen. Same thing happened to Kamashita, right? Both got weird calling cards, too. If you ask me, the same person is behind all this. The news this morning said a group called Akatsuki are the ones behind the cards, also known as the Phantom Thieves. I read Akatsuki because it just was the word there. I wonder how they get people to confess. I mean, they can't literally be stealing hearts. Blackmail, maybe? Oh, made it! Ugh, oh, sprinting first thing in the morning was a bad idea. Well, that's definitely my personal best, by a lot. How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> You knew, didn't you, about Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students? Sir! What will come of you asking that? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Madarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashita's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. <sighs> Do you think if Kabayakawa breathed in really hard, his ears would just get sucked into his head? 
I bet it would. Did you see Matarame's press conference? You mean that guy who was all like, how could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Oh. <laughs> Someone drew Matarame on the background. Look at that. Think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Is who voices Adachi in Persona 4? Is it Johnny Young Bosch? Who does Adachi in Persona 4? Is this is this him talking right now? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. That really sounds like Adachi. Yeah. How's it going? Have you found our next big target? I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? Huh? Oh, it's time. Oh crap, the social studies trip. Oh, I just wanna ditch it. You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Honestly, it might be the smartest thing Ryuji has said this entire game. Quit bickering and go. Then let's all choose the TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Oh well, not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Imagine that Alice chick from uh, Strikers is there. Ryuji wouldn't be so excited then. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. All right, I'm gonna head back. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. What? That guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. Ryuji was into Alice, was he? I haven't played Striker in a year and a half. Striker's words. Feels pretty great having everyone talk about us, huh? Madarame is the only topic of conversation at my school. And as I'm his pupil, most of my peers have chosen to ignore me. For real? That sucks. Are you gonna be okay? There is no need to worry. They had already been treating me differently from others as it stood. This is nothing new to me. Okay then. More importantly, do we have any leads on our next mission? You kidding? There's no way we'd find a target that quick. To Mementos we go. Great idea. I will keep myself free. Please tell me if anything comes up. Hey, are you listening? Uh, I've got three proficiency. Let's see if I get the dodge here. Pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? Oh, let's go. Three was enough. No that was an epic dodge, dude. Yeah, I'm a ninja. Well, whatever. Moving on. Hey. Yo, give me that charm up. Yo, two charm for that. Easy. Hi. What a pleasant surprise. It's really pouring down, isn't it? I thought something like this would happen, so I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. What a considerate kitty. Of course. This isn't something any ordinary cat would do. And just in case you've forgotten again, I'm a human, not a cat. You're a bus. Well, see you around. Won't you get wet, though? Actually, I forgot my umbrella. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. <laughs> you want a piece of this? Oh, you'll share your umbrella? That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. You want a piece of this? Thanks again for letting me join you. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Is it for gymnastics? Yeah, that's right. Two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer, and one near the end. 
If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. I'll cheer you on. I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> oh, we're already at the station. I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some... Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school, and a boyfriend to escort her around? Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Eh, don't worry about it. Yeah, you're right. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. Oh, excuse me. My father's calling. Hello, Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? Not really? He was just like, hey, it's raining. You, my daughter, do you need a ride? That's not overprotective. That's a really considerate father. You got a great dad. Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. Excuse me. Seems pretty rough. Seems like Yoshizawa has it hard to. But never mind that. Having wet fur is the fur is the worst. Try to keep me under the umbrella, would you? Just stay in the bag, idiot. Hey, I found some great intel. This time it's bullying by a Kosei student they call a queen. She's been ordering around a male student who goes by the name M, kinda like the M and S and M. Does M stand for Mishima? That's a secret. Anyway, here are the details. The girl acting like a queen is Hikari Shimizu. Shimizu the name of the character in Haikyuu? Or is it Shizumi? No, it's Shimizu, isn't it? It's very similar. I can't remember exactly. I wonder if it's more likely that a girl will turn out like that if she has S as an initial. Well, I already posted the warning, so you should take it on when you have the time. Hopefully, you don't end up in M. What did he mean by S and M? Those are shirt sizes, right? Is it the size of clothes? You poor cat. Anyway, it seems like she's a worthy target. Let's find the time to consult the others at the hideout. Sadism is, sadism is just a sign of love. Okay. Um, this is going to be a little awkward for how I'm going to do YouTube videos, but I think it's just going to lead to a couple of videos being a couple of minutes longer than normal. But I'm actually going to wrap up here for today because I'm pretty hungry and I needed a three-hour stream for part 100, which is coming up in the next stream or two. So I'm gonna save and wrap up here for today. We ran into more cutscenes than I expected to. I'm like 20 minutes over three hours, so it's a it's gonna be a little awkward for rendering, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, but yeah, when we come back next time, we'll continue on towards the third palace and further into the story. For those of you watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna catch these live, link to my Twitch channel description, I'd love to see you there. Or keep watching on YouTube, I appreciate your support either way. And until next time, farewell. <laughs>